Cheers, muses. I'm Erica Papillon-Posey, and welcome to another segment of Suits, Souls by EPP, where I inspire you toward your own personal style muse with timeless, classic, prim looks from my boudoir. So what do I have for you today? Oh, before we actually get started, I wanted to send out immense gratitude and thanks for the new followers I have to this really, really new channel. I actually created the YouTube channel on September 5th and um, did my first upload, I think, September 17th. And I am, I think, uh, four shy of my 300th subscriber. That may seem like tense beans to you all, but it is so much to me and I couldn't appreciate each and every one of you more for deciding to follow me and to subscribe to my channel. It is not lost on me that you could be anywhere, but you've chosen to follow me, to stick with me, to watch me, and I'm immensely, immensely appreciative. So thank you so very much for that. So what do we have for you today? Outerwear options. Oh. If you're like me, your closet is full. If you're a fashion girl in any sense of the word, then your closet, your wardrobe is full of outerwear options. Again, I'm no exception. So I really do hope that you like the six, seven options that I have for you today. Uh, six of them are actually actual coats, overcoats, and one of them is an actual cape. So I hope that you enjoy them and let's get started, shall we? The first option that I have for you today is this wonderful, uh, look at this, double-breasted fur, beautiful piece from Zara. I actually purchased this piece uh, in Rome. Um, I don't know if you, if you've ever been to Rome before, you know that Rome has literally like four Zaras on the same street. It's called Via Cavour. And Via Cavour is the main shopping district, um, in Rome where all of the high end designers exist as well as the lower brow or lower street items, um, or retailers, I should say. But yes, I purchased this at one of the Zaras on Via Cavour in Rome. And isn't she beautiful? Oh, isn't she fantastic? Again, double-breasted, velvet. There is no lining in this, but it's, you know, it's like a, a suede uh, inside to it. It's all, it's just an, you know, um, double-sided. Um, and actually, if the tag was not here, you could easily wear this in reverse. So again, it's a double-breasted, all velvet, black velvet. It looks, it has like a navy blue tint to it um, on camera, but it's actually pitch black. Yes, just a beautiful, beautiful black. I'm going to pop uh, photos up on the screen here or video so that you can see it. But it's just stunning, stellar. And everything, every outerwear option that you will see today, I actually just paired with similar, the outfit that I have on here, just this tank and short set with some wonderful, nice heels. And then I have this fantastic cape. Now, as a, um, a trained opera singer, I have always had a need for um the elegant for, uh, you know, things that you can wear to dinner parties and to um, special uh, classical outings, you know, more of the swanky, sophisticated um, e events and outings and dinners and things like that. Because either I'm performing at one of these events or I'm going to one at the conclusion of an opera that I have uh, performed in. So this wonderful, beautiful cape is just something that I have had in my uh, wardrobe for some time now. Again, it is Zara. The thing that I love about this cape is that it ties around the neck here. See that? There are actual ties there. And you just put your arms through the cape here. See that? Again, it's in a vel velvet and it is fully lined. Again, just beautifully made. And I love the ruching on the sleeves for dramatic effect, you see there? 
like just a wonderful piece for a classical operatic singer like myself to have uh, available as something that you just throw over, even like a tank dress or an evening, a simple evening dress, just for dramatic effect, yes. Just outstanding, beautifully made. Again, this is from Zara. I also purchased this in Italy. I'm not uh, quite remembering which Zara I purchased that in Italy, but I do remember it was um, in Italy. So yes, that was my second, second option. And then my third outerwear option, you will not find this one in stores because my daughter actually made this one. And can you see the texture there? Look at this. It's so beautiful. Now, yes, I did say my daughter. My daughter is a designer and uh, actually was responsible for making a lot of my formal dresses for the operatic and recital stage. She is super talented, um, another creative in our family and has never let me down whenever I need something um, fantastic and fabulous and dramatic for the operatic stage. But this is like a car coat. Again, it's all velvet, just beautiful, wonderful. She did a fantastic job. She's made, again, so many things for me. Um, I, I have a few more things that I can actually show you at another time of items that she's made. I'll actually have her on as a guest at some point. She has, um, she still makes things from time to time, but she's actually hung up her, um, hung up, put away her sewing machine, except for when I asked her to pull it out, um, for uh, real estate. So she no longer sews, but, you know, she, she does it for special occasions and things like that. But just stellar, just fantastic, very weighted. It's a wrap coat. And again, this beautiful sash just, you know, pulls it in for you, goes wonderfully with a tank dress or, you know, some wonderful wide leg trousers and a dramatic shoe. Just fantastic gray. It really has like this metallic gray silver tint uh, and effect to it. But again, my daughter made this one for me. My next option is another, another Zara option. Actually, this one is H&M. I actually got this one at H&M, I think about six years, seven years ago. But isn't she beautiful? She actually has a bow here where you can tie it into a bow or a sash, however you choose. Again, this one is also not lined, but again, beautifully made. Look at that. This beautiful outer fur. You could easily do this one in reverse as well. Look at that, but the black tie, this black tie sash um, uh, effect here. Um, this feature is really wonderful. It's simple, but it really does add a touch of elegance to the entire coat. Yeah, just stunning in this off-white, almost a uh, champagne color. Just beautiful, like a champagne beige. Again, this one is from H&M. My next option for you, and we know this year, I believe, someone correct me if I am wrong, but this is the anniversary of the Teddy Coat by Max Mara, right? This is my version of it, of course, because I don't have, nor would I spend Max Mara money. You know how I'm always talking about keeping your coins in your pocket, but this is another Zara treasure that I have from about, mm, I would say about six or seven years ago as well. I also put this beautiful brooch here for effect and contrast, just stunning, beautiful, very well made fully lined, yeah, in this beautiful brown, just wonderful, like a, you know, this teddy bear color. And it, it's just, it feels luxurious and very elegant, um, even though the material looks, you know, obviously it's a warm, comfortable material, but I, I'm, I'm in love with the, um, just the color of it and the texture of it, just very rich, yeah, from Zara, yeah. And then we have this wonderful, again, very elegant, 
look at the color on this coat. This coat is an ASOS coat. Now, I've heard some people call it ASOS. Some people call it um, ASOS. You know, I call it ASOS. I call it ASOS. I've sh been shopping there as well um, for some time. This is a single uh, four button maxi velvet. Again, no lining, but it has this real, it's like a, a leather. Um, of course, it's a faux leather interior to it. Very weighty, hefty, just feels very luxurious and elegant. And it looks elegant too. Look at that color and how rich and beautiful. This is also a color for the season and um, just, just stunning. Really love it. Fantastic. My final and probably one of my most favorite outerwear options, this is number seven, is this luscious pink fur coat. Now, look at this lining. See that beautiful satin pink lining? Remember I said to you that black, gray, and pink were my favorite colors? This is the color pink that I live for. This beautiful pale baby pink. Ah, oh, just luscious, isn't it? Very sexy as well. It really does remind me of something that maybe Josephine Baker would wear. Someone like Dorothy Dandridge, you know, Lena Horne. It really brings me to that era of the, um, the chanteuse, you know. Um, but look at this wonderful uh, fur collar here. Look at this. Now it also has a pink uh, sash that goes to it that is the same material as the lining of the coat, but I rarely wear it because it is satin. It doesn't stay tied very well. So I usually belt it with something else as you will see you know, when I design it and when I style it for you. But she's just so sumptuous, so elegant. Again, just very luscious. Again, she's a maxi, a long, long line maxi from ASOS. ASOS is another one of those online retailers that I have shopped at many times. And um, yes, just like the um, maroon coat here that I just showed you previous to this one, it's also from ASOS, as I said, but just very wonderful, very elegant. Love it so, so very much. Single button, single four button. There, see that? Just fantastic. I'm, I'm just in love with this coat. I hope that you like what I did with it. Yeah? So what are the handbags that and the soles that I styled with um, these seven outerwear options? First of all, we had this beautiful satchel rhinestone, satin, beauty. Look at that. And I purchased her from Marshalls, but I do not know who the designer is. There was no clear indication um, when I purchased her who the actual designer is. It had a J on the label, but that meant nothing to me. I had not seen that brand um, uh, enough to know who it is or, you know, I had never seen it before. But um, very inexpensive at Marshalls. Very, very heavy, beautifully made, well-crafted very inexpensive at Marshall's. And I designed her with the first two options that we had, actually the first three options. So we actually had the double-breasted black velvet coat and the cape um, as well that I designed her with. And then the Zara fur coat as well. So you'll get to see her in a number of the looks. And then we had this beautiful adorned rhinestone and pearl clutch with this beautiful detailing for the, there we go, in and out. Wonderful, and as you can tell, the chain option for shoulder and crossbody wear. And I styled her with this honeycomb velvet, the coat that my daughter made. Super excited for you to see that. 
And then we have this lush burgundy, again, all satin, gold metal with this intricate, detailed rhinestone, much like the gray that I just showed you that I styled with this maroon coat from ASOS, right? And then we had this animal print that I did with the teddy coat. And I don't know if you can tell there. Again, we have the rhinestone clasp on top with, um, it also comes with the chain for crossbody and shoulder wear. They all do actually, they all come with the chain. But you can see the actual sequence on it there, this textured sequence feature against this animal print. Just fabulous. Again, we did this one with the teddy coat. And then last but not least, this is the one that I did with the pink fur. Look at that. It's almost like a triangular but rectangular geometric shape here. Again, look at that detailing on the clasp. I'm a sucker for rhinestone detailing. But again, it's still simple. I also purchased this one at TJ Maxx. And again, I apologize because there is no indication of who the designer is. I got her on clearance, but look at the detail in there. Just wonderful. Again, crossbody shoulder wear option, which I've never used, as you can tell. But just beautiful, all leather. Love her. So those were our five handbag options that we used throughout. And then I only styled uh, the seven outerwear options with two pairs of soles. The first pair, you've seen these once before, is this patent stiletto heel Dorsey cut from Steve Madden. But yes, you've also seen this before. The rhinestone shoe clips that I use from time to time that I get from Amazon. Remember, this comes in a two pack, this rectangular shape, and it also comes in a circular shape. And they're only like, I think, 10, 11 bucks I paid for them, but just beautiful. I love adorning my shoes. So I'll get them simple and then really just spruce them up. Make them as elegant or as dressed down as you like. So the Steve Madden and then the last pair I did with this Betsy Johnson platform, five inch, but it doesn't feel like five inches because of this generous platform at the bottom. And of course it comes with zip up, zip down detailing for easy access in the back, but you can also get in and out here with these gold clasps here. So all three of them come apart. Girlfriends, these are the kind of shoes that you wear, the heels that you wear for that special night out with your boo or special night in with your boo. Either one. I'm sure he'd love them both. But again, this is Betsy Johnson. I've had these about 12 years, I think. And they're so beautifully made. Again, I will never get rid of them. And talk about elongating the leg. Remember, I told you I'm only 5'2". I'm a petite, short girl. So anything that long makes my legs look longer and lengthens me, uh, just wonderful. Yeah. How sexy are these? Betsy Johnson. So can't wait for you to see those also. And then, of course, my sunnies are always a staple in anything that I style for you. And as always, I will link them for you in the description below, but they're no exception. You know, they're always going to be um, in my staple of offerings. Again, ah, let's see, seven outerwear options for you with various handbags and shoes to finish the looks. So 
Thank you so very much for joining me again on this segment of Suits Souls by EPP. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for notifications on all new episodes. But until we meet again, a bientôt, muses. Bye.